Hey guys, welcome back to Aussie Beekeeping. So today we're gonna to be getting into two hives. We're gonna be getting into the hive that we killed and requeened. We're also gonna be getting into the small nucleus or the split that we took off that and put a queen in there. I'm pretty keen to go and have a look at these things. Let's get into them. So here we are at the pink hive. This is the one that we killed the queen two weeks ago and put a queen in. So let's get into them and see how we go. So I'll pop some smoke at the front door. Have a look at this top box. I probably expect numbers to be down a little bit. So we'll check out our numbers in the top box. Really quite low, which as I said, I expected that. Let's we'll see if they're bringing in any stores. Looks like they've drawn out some more wax. That's pretty nice, isn't it? And on the other side, Really good. All right, I'll pop this box off. Trying to be gentle here. I'm gonna pop this frame out here, number two, and then that'll give me enough room to get in and have a look at that queen cage. But I have to be mindful that there could be a queen in here. Well, there's eggs. That's a really good sign. The numbers are still up. Pop this one over the back here. One last look for the queen. Go straight for that queen cage. There's our queen cage there. There you go. So it looks like that queen is out. Now it's just a matter of eyeballing her. Now I think, was this the pink or the purple dot? She's probably only been out for about a week. She shouldn't be too hard to find. The fact that there's eggs in there. Keep looking. Might give them some, small, some more smoke. Might give them some more smoke. Frame number three. That's brewed from the old queen, I'm assuming. Yes. Where is she hiding? Hmm. Not there. All right, let's have a look on frame one. Oh, she's tucked away there. She's quite orange. Yikes, a daisy. I like making things hard for myself. Hmm. Go for frame six. She's not jumping out there.
Where is she hiding, ladies and gentlemen? Well, let's try frame eight. She might be in the bottom of the box, of course. There are eggs, as I said. Hmm. It's quite brightly marked. So I wouldn't think that that would be a major problem in finding her. I've got the smoke wafting over this hive. That's why they're still a little bit noisy. do not look like they're doing anything in these cells. Hmm. Alright, well let's have another look. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. The yellow dot. Maybe that's why I couldn't find her. Okay, I'm not going to upset her anymore. We've eyeballed her. That's fantastic. Get this other frame in. <coughs> Alright, so there you have it. That's the pink hive. Queen's been released. Let's go and have a look at this nuke. Hopefully we're in the same boat. I've been lucky enough to be contacted by Hornsby Beekeeping in New South Wales who have offered me this jacket to try out. As you guys know, I've been copping a lot of stings through that other suit and this actually gives me an opportunity to try out something new. This is a triple layer mesh jacket. They're really, really cool, breathable. You get no stings through them got four really large size pockets on the front it's got a really good quality zipper and hood it's also got a velcro zipper protector that runs the length of the jacket pockets on the sleeves and what I really liked about this jacket when I went to nominate the size that I wanted is they have a really easy table on their website that you can go on Choose your exact size, waist, chest, arm length and find the jacket that's the right jacket for you. So there's no guesswork in the process, which is really, really fantastic because I don't know if you guys have ever bought a jacket that's been the wrong size, but it's a pain. So it's also got a fantastic hood on it. The hood has a Velcro tab that runs down the front, which actually pulls the hood down away from your face, which is absolute perler of an idea. It's got an elastic waist elastic sleeves with adjustable velcro on the sleeves as well i also really like the peak on the hood so you've got good side view open view on the sides but you've also got a bit of sun protection on the top which i think is a fantastic thing hornsby beekeeping are situated in new south wales they deliver australia wide I strongly suggest you pop on their website, have a bit of a look at their stuff. I'll pop a link down to their jackets below. But for now, let's get back to the bees. So this is the split that I took off the pink hive. And I placed the queen in here. The queen from Aurora Apiaries. And we popped a feeder in here as well. Look at that. Small hive beetle or wax moth. But they're certainly hiding up here, aren't they? I might pop this feeder out. Might not pop this feeder out. Wow, it's still got food in it. And lots of it. So I'll go straight for the queen. Oh, Jesus. 
stuck together. Go straight for that queen cage. <gasps> and there we have it. There's our queen. Good work, Robin. She's pretty desperately looking for somewhere to lay. Happy days. So I'm gonna pop her back. I know she's on that side, so I'm just quickly going to have a look at what's happening with these frames. Lots of drones in there. And it looks like just pollen as well. So she's still on that frame, I'll put them together, we know she's now safe. So what do these guys need? They've got a little bit of food coming in, a little bit of nectar. Let's see how this plastic frame's going. Some pollen, really good pollen in there. So she's got two frames of brood. I've got a feeder. My concern is that if I leave the feeder on, they're going to fill up all these frames with uh, honey. No, I'm going to leave the feeder in. The feeder's there for a reason, it needs to be there. That's it, awesome. Really, really happy with that. Oh, I didn't see the queen cage. Did you guys see the queen cage? You guys probably saw the queen cage. You know, guys don't miss anything, do you? Must be down the bottom somewhere. Wow, what they do have is they have a hell of a lot of grubs down the bottom. So no queen cage. We have a problem. Probably a good thing that I came back and had a look at this hive. Surely queen cages don't just dissolve. You guys saw me put that in. Oh, there it is. <laughs> now, where's our queen? She's on the other frame. Good job. I need to get, um, what do I need to do? What have they got? One, two. I've only got two frames of brood. I need to get all those grubs out of the bottom. So I need to make some sort of stack of armor here. Give me a second, I'll rework my ideas. I've got this other timber nuke here. <coughs> Short term. Of course, the queen's on the last frame. She's really fat. Look at her. I'm actually not going to put her in that box. 
because I'm too concerned about squishing her. So, what am I going to do? I think I'm going to have to shake these out in front of the box. Popping the queen back in that box. This is actually quite disgusting inside this hive. So I'm actually not prepared to try to fix this. I think I'm going to move these guys into another hive. Reason being is that the small hive beetle larvae and pupae that are down in the bottom of that hive will have probably already set the hive back. There's obviously a lot of bacteria and stuff going on down there, so I think I'm going to take these guys and put them into a new bee box. They're probably a bit small, but maybe I can squeeze them up with a feeder and let them go from there. So Hornsby Beekeeping have also sent me one of their boxes to try out. And from the get-go, this thing looks pretty good. So it's got a timber lid with insulation inside it and also a colour bond top. So you can see here that this outer ring is rebated and this piece of timber sits inside that little rebate and behind there is insulation. So really, really nice quality lid. And the colour bond obviously if you live in Australia and you know about Colour Bond, it's a premium product. Really nicely folded. And inside their boxes, Hornsby frames, waxed and wired, wired and waxed. These things look really, really good. Stapled. Really cool. So I'll pop a link down in the description for this box as well. The box is really good. It's uh, not as heavy as some. Screwed in every place. Wax dipped. And of course the base. The first thing I noticed when I opened the box was the quality of workmanship. I'm in the construction industry and I've seen a lot of poorly manufactured things and this has been manufactured with an attention to detail that I've never seen before in other hives. It's got a really wide entrance at the front. It's wax dipped. It's not only stapled but it's also screwed and it's also a perfect hive if you've got too many small hive beetle. This mesh in the top here also comes out. But you can see the quality. This has been tack welded, stainless steel, and really, really heavy mesh. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace the hive underneath with this hive here and put that infested hive underneath. So now that that box is slid across, I'll put the new hive base in place. Along with the box. So now I'm going to take the frames from that other hive. And I'm going to place them in their new home. There's our queen.
Now I know that this hive is too small to go in this box, but I don't have any other options. Now I'm going to shake these bees from this timber box out the front. I'm also going to put their last frame in. Now these guys will need a boost. So I'm going to put their feeder back in. And as far as these bees here, I really don't want to get any of that small hive beetle stuff in there. All right, I'm just going to put this lid on here. And then I'm going to place that hive there. I'll just give them some time to get out, to get back in. Give these guys a bit of a ladder. So short term, I'm going to close these guys up. Just let them get accustomed. They're not going to come back and squish some of those small hive beetle larvae on the ground. And then I'm going to drop a frame in. So our queen's not on this frame, so I'm going to put that frame in as well. So these guys have got six. And here's one of those Hornsby beekeeping frames in there. So they're one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven frames and a feeder. I'm pretty happy with that. So here we are back at the Hornsby Hive. These are all the foragers from the one next door that have returned. Looks like they're happy. I just want to say thanks to Hornsby Beekeeping for reaching out. If you guys want to check out their stock, I'll pop a link down the bottom. They've got plenty of bargains. I've had a look through it all and there's some really nice products there. I think there's something for everyone. Thanks for watching guys, see you on the next one.